I'm willing to go forward until I have legal representation. Okay? So that's where my story stands for a resident of Harlem with nowhere else to go. The politicians, they know what's going on. Nothing's being done. I'm understanding le legislation is supposed to be signing in for the civil Gideon. This is where the, land, the, re the landlords have all the representation. So the balance scale is not even. It's not an even playing field from the gate. Okay? So I'm here to piggyback off the bat. And for those of you who know me, know my character, my integrity, I am a city employee retired by injury. I also vendor. And these are things that are going on that they're trying to push us out of Harlem because my rent is at a fixed rate as to my SSD. So if you can make $1,800 to $2,300 rent off of me on a waterfront property, you'd rather me gone. But I'm not going without a fight. Okay? Right. Thank you. And we ain't going nowhere either. We, we standing right behind you. Okay. Right with you. Uh, we're going to pause in our, uh, for our guest speakers to uh, invite up Paula Ruiz from the Mayor's Office of Community Affairs. Speakers will be uh, Saul Davis, Ade Rasol, Tariq Shahid, and Gail George. Good evening, uh, board members. Uh, good evening, community. Good evening. Uh, I really came to uh, do two things. Uh, one, one thing reflects the other. Uh, I think it doesn't cancel it out. I think that the board deserves uh, a slight congratulations for supporting uh, our uh, efforts uh, last month. As a matter of fact, I was sent here to the whole meeting. I had to come to the board meeting, and for the first time in a very long time, I, we got an opportunity to speak about the 116th Street Park and the efforts that we have made, uh, the religious community there and the residents there, have made the teepage drug-free, crime-free, and now we want to keep it alcohol-free. But the bottom line is that uh, we spoke about the significance of having a, an historical corridor like all other communities have, that they respect, that they appreciate, that doesn't take anything away from the neighborhood, but only adds to the neighborhood. And so we have a history of uh, cleaning up that corridor, and we want to make sure that that corridor remains safe, clean, and again, not only just drug-free, crime-free, but also alcohol-free. And uh, I don't think that's asking too much. Uh, that's only one little piece of hollow. You know that when you go beyond that corridor, you can go practically anywhere uh, and get uh, a drink or two or three. But well, we're hoping that we can send a message out to some of the young people who are here, uh, representative from the federal program that spoke about how much influence uh, alcohol and substance abuse is having on our young people. Uh, we want to make sure that we take a stand tonight to let you know that there's another item on the agenda uh, requesting another uh, alcohol license to be served, be in wine, right across the street from the mosque. Uh, <laughs> nothing against the restaurant. We're very familiar with the restaurant. We eat there ourselves. 
We have a partnership with the restaurant as far as our, our programs like Jail Ain't No Good and other programs that we do on the Avenue. But however, uh, we want you to know that we're not in support of this effort. And if we also see about uh, cleaning up the 116th Street corridor, then we need your support. Uh, so we ask for your support tonight. Thank you very much. Um, do we have Saul Davis <coughs> or? He gave his time to idea. Oh, oh, great. Okay. Uh, Tariq. I'm by Tariq Shahid. I'm going to get my talk to talk. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum. Well, thank you. 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 I'm here to, to respond also to you know, what they said. Um, first of all, let me give you this in regard to uh, the owners of Amy Roof. I've known them for 43 years. I've known them a very long time, worked, to, worked with them on a number of occasions. I mean, we used to, they, they were the last vestments of people in the Caucasian, that is, in the community with supermarkets. They own five supermarkets. I know everybody in their family, Mitchell, David, Father Jack, Brother Allen, I and all of them. And also their cousin, first cousin Brian. Are you just going to so, so, so this is not about liking or disliking anyone. This is about, as I said before, it's not a campaign against uh, alcohol. It's not a campaign at all. This is a campaign for the Harlem corridor on 116th Street, which is like no other corridor in all of New York. There's no corridor with the number of religious institutions in it. And listen, and we fought and fought and people got hurt just to establish it so people would want to come to that block. So now that the block is flourishing and the land value has been increased, we say, look, we're, we're, we're for Amy Root. This is not about Amy Root. This is bigger than Amy Root. Amy Root is in its inception is for the restaurant. When Carl came to put the restaurant, Carl was put the restaurant there, but first of all, Joe put the restaurant there, and then Omar didn't have it, and then it came to the party. When Carl came, he came because remember Carl, and I, most people don't know the name, Amy Wolf is Carl's aunt. Uh, she worked in, she worked in the, on 158th Street. What's the restaurant was that? Wilson. Wilson. She was a cook in Wilson. So listen, this is, here's the point we're trying to make. I know this is, they, somebody said, this is for renewal. But please understand this. The renewal, it would be false to vote on a renewal when it started off with deception. Now we've known him for 43 years. And when they and when and yeah, I have so I have this time to do that. Listen, and so listen, so here's what happened. They were asked when they came for a petition for wine and beer, they were asked, did you talk to the boss? And they said yes. They have a letter, I have the letter here. This letter was sent to me from somebody from the community board years ago when they first applied. Mm. It was sent us after it was done. Friends of ours on the community board sent this. Now this is a letter where they went to the mosque on, 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 on 150th Street, 8th Avenue. That imam was, he was a foreigner, he wasn't, he's not from here. Mm. He didn't know any roots of Adam. He didn't know anything about it. Now listen to the letter so you'll understand why I'm saying we have to start from scratch again here. The letter says, and I don't have my glasses. It says, dear, I get, my daughter's got my glasses, they're my glasses. In, in my pocket, we need to hear this. Let me use John's. Oh, look, please. Okay, they work, okay. All right. It says, dear, dear constituency, I am aware of Mr. Meckler's presence in the community since 1971. Mind you, the brother was writing this. He came here in 93. He wasn't even here. He didn't know them at all. He has contributed to the employment in our area and to, and to the 